Some call us paradise Some say we're small and nice It's where thousands travel miles Never knowing such a place exists It's where summer never ends You keep coming, playing the same game It's my home In the Turks and Caicos Islands Missick. I was born on the island of Grand Turk, the Turks and, Caic Turks and Caicos Islands, to James and Eileen Missick. I came to New York City in the mid-1960s to further my educational and career goals. It was while living with my uncle Pablito Missick in Brooklyn, New York, that I came to listen and hear the stories of many older Turks Islanders, some of the old timers as we say, who had been here from the late 1800s into the early 1900s and so on. And I was always fascinated by these, by the stories they would tell about growing up in the Turks and Caicos Islands and their journey, their long journey to New York to further their career goals. I often wish I had recorded these stories. Well, it's never too late. Here lately, I have taken up a project to catch some of those who are still with us and to record them either audio on audio tape or on videotape. First, Mrs. Vivian Aswit Peters, who will be 96 years old in 2006. Vivian Dolores Astwood Peters. I was born in Laramus, Middle Caicos on July 5th, 1910. My mother's name is Victoria Frith. Okay. She was 14 years old. My father, Louis Edwin Astwood, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. oh. And they are my parents. They and both gave me to my grandmother, Margaret Elizabeth Williams. She raised me mm -hmm. until I came to America. What year was that? 1943. Okay. I had a son, I have a son by the name of George Williams. I had him for a Corporal Williams from Grand Turk, mm -hmm. Turk Island. My grandmother wouldn't let me marry him, mm -hmm. although he wanted to marry me. So I told my father what happened, and he gave me money to come up here with because he said that if I stayed home, my grandmother will never change her mind and let me marry Corporal Williams. His mm -hmm. name was George Williams. George Williams, okay. Yeah. She said that what George Williams was making, Louis Edwin Astrid gave me that for pocket money mm -hmm. and he couldn't support me. Mm -hmm. So she wouldn't let me marry him even though he wanted to marry me. Mm -hmm. So I was very broken hearted and I told my father so he gave me money and I came up here mm -hmm. and I lived with my aunt Helen. Okay. Helen Aswit. Helen Captiville. Captiville, okay. Captiville, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was she from? She is my grandmother's daughter. Oh, okay. Margaret Williams' daughter. All right. And she kept me. And she uh, found a job for me, mm -hmm. and she kept the baby because she was also working for the city, keeping unwanted children, you know. Mm -hmm. So she kept my baby also. Mm -hmm. And that's from there, after my Aunt Helen died, I went on my own. I saved enough money and bought a house. Mm -hmm. I put my child through school, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. He didn't want to go to college, so I didn't force him. Mm -hmm. It was just a waste of money when the children don't want to go mm -hmm. to college, mm -hmm. and you try to force them. Mm -hmm. So I just work, and I put him through Gumpus High School, and that's as far as he went. And this is in and, the Bronx, New yes, York? Yes, Gumpus mm -hmm. High School in the Bronx. Right here in the Bronx. Okay. So in 1950, I met Robert Out Peter Outen from mm -hmm. Larimus, mm -hmm. and he married me. And then we had two children, Nancy Peters and Louis Peters. Mm -hmm. They both went to college. Lewis has a master degrees and Nancy is a psychologist. Mm -hmm. So they both earn great salary and right. they all take care of themselves. And God has blessed me immensely. Mm -hmm. I just have a degree in common sense. <laughs> I don't have no master degrees, but I do have a degree in common sense. That's all right. And God took care of me all the way. I bought several homes mm -hmm. with the little common sense that I had. Mm -hmm. And I had several homes in America, mm -hmm. about six homes, and I just buy and sell real estate. Mm -hmm. And that's how I made my extra living. Oh, beautiful. And God has taken care of me. And you have some homes back in Turks and Caicos too? And I have my property in the Turks and Caicos Island. Mm -hmm. My father also left me property in the Turks mm -hmm. and Caicos Island. She now, tell me when you were, you were born in what year? 1910. So that makes you, this is 2005, that makes you 90, Five. 95 years old. I told you I was 95. Yeah, I never 95. tried to hide oh, my yeah. age. These young people hide <laughs> You look there. very young for that. <laughs> These young people hide there. I came from very young parents, uh -huh, that's 14 right. and 15. 14 and 15. My mother was 14. My father was 15. My goodness. And, and they both, uh, my mother's family didn't have much. Mm -hmm. So my, uh, my, uh, grandmother, mm -hmm. she had, because she had her children for a white man from Brooklyn, Charlie Aswood was white mm -hmm. from Brooklyn, and they had a lot of money. Now is that Ma Williams? Margaret Elizabeth Margaret, Williams. Margaret, yeah. we call her Ma Williams. Yeah, yes. Okay. And home people wouldn't let her marry uh, him, because she was black. There was prejudice yeah. from that time. Yeah. Home people... Charlie wanted to marry my grandmother. Mm -hmm. but Charlie Aswood. Charlie Aswood. Okay. He's from Brooklyn. Okay. He wanted to oh. marry my grandmother, uh -huh. but they wouldn't let him. Oh, he was from Brooklyn? Yes, from oh. Brooklyn. All the Aswood family is from Brooklyn. Uh huh. That's yeah. interesting. He had a brother named Edgar Aswood, and he was the Dr. Home. Mm -hmm. He was the Dr. Home in Turks Island. And Charlie asked what was the real estate. So you see, I got yes, real estate yes, from way right. back. So you have a rich history of being in New York and yes, your, your, yes. your grandfather. You know what I do? My cousin Dorothy, who died, we, I work in Lebanon Hospital. I only work as a practical nurse. Mm -hmm. I didn't spend the three years to do the registered nurse because mm -hmm. I had a baby. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I worked as a practical nurse in Lebanon Hospital. Mm -hmm. That's where I got my citizenship paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they helped me to get my citizenship paper. They helped me to get my baby registered in a uh, Gumpus High School and all like that, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. My my boy, you know, he was more Americanized. He he wouldn't go to college. Mm -hmm. And now that's George. Yes, okay. that one who been here just now. Right. He let me know. He say West Indian people only want their children to have high education and everything. <laughs> I'm not in that. I just want to make a living. <laughs> I don't want to go to college. Yeah. And it's no good of me going, picking mm -hmm. up, um, um, and now you pick up can. Mm -hmm. In 1943, you pick up the newspaper mm -hmm. when you're not working and mm -hmm. you sell it. 
But right. now the people pick up cans. I have pick up cans, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's where I made my extra money. Mm -hmm. But I telling you now, it, it's no good of going doing all of that if your child don't want to go. You mm -hmm. know, this is mm -hmm. a waste of time. You just should give it to your church. Yeah, that's or right. Or give it to some place, you know, of worship. That's right. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, growing up in Laramis and, and the Turks and Caicos. Well, what happened is I didn't grow up much in Laramis. When I was a baby, mm -hmm. my uh, m mother and her mother gave me to my grandmother, Margaret Williams, because mm -hmm. my mother's side of the family didn't have much. Okay. So, like I told you, this woman had her children for a wealthy man mm -hmm. from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So they had everything. Uh, just so people can know, uh, you are the first of how many I'm children by first, your father? I am the first is about, he had, he, now get this straight. <laughs> My father died three days before he was 50. Mm -hmm. And he left over 50 children. Oh, my god. And goodness. I'm the oldest out of 50 ah. children. I went to Grand Tuck as a baby with my grandmother. But mm. what happened? My grandmother took me to Monte Cristi. Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic. With my great... <laughs> how did my great-grandmother fit in? That was your great grand why she took me... So your over. grandmother was my great-grandmother? Yeah. Martha... Martha Missick. Missick. Williams of yeah. Williams Missick. So what? Was only white people and German and Jews coming up here to work. So you all had to go to Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo or Porta Plata or Porta Pay or and that's mm -hmm. and that's how I get to uh, to learn to speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. I only learned my own language at the age of 13. English. Yes, oh. because what happened, the English school, you had to pay 25 cents a month. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and <coughs> my father said, I can always learn English when he stops sailing on the ship. Mm -hmm. He say he will take me and carry me to Grand Tuck. He say he didn't have much say. The children didn't have much say in those days. Mm -hmm. they, he said because then I could tell Ma I could help teach you English myself. Mm -hmm. You know. What was it like growing up in Monte Cristi? It was very good. My mm -hmm. my uh, my aunt. She was my aunt. Mm -hmm. My aunt Martha, she treated me. Martha, that, that's Martha, my great grandmother. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's she perfect. treated me very nice. She was my grandmother's brother's child, you know. Charlie asked what was is my father's father. Your father, your grandfather. Yeah. Okay. They used to run the ship. The ship was the Inca, mm -hmm. the Algonquin, mm -hmm. and all of them, they were in charge. Charlie was in charge of it. Mm -hmm. My father helped to build the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh. If if I were going home with you this time, mm -hmm. I could show you large picture of him and the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, okay. Where they helped to build the Brooklyn Bridge. Him and the man named Felix Grant. Yeah, yeah. They helped From to Blue build Hills. the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, where are those pictures? Those pictures is home in my house. I don't know oh, if they got destroyed. Okay. Because right. I didn't lay out to stay here, you know. Yeah. I had lay out to go to the uh, West Indies. But <clears throat> after my husband died, I just stayed here, you yeah. know. So back to uh, Monte Cristi, uh, you also grew up with my uncle and aunt, yeah. uh, Stanley and Ka Catherine? No, Stanley uh, and Catherine, they are much younger than me. Okay. Catherine is just in her 80s. All right. And, uh, so when did they go to Monte Cristi? Stanley and Catherine came to Monte Cristi, Baby Missick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Baby Missick was married to Ned Missick, your Ponette, father, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So like my aunt was, uh, my aunt, my aunt, Ned Missick, uh, she wasn't working. Mm -hmm. She just stayed home and do her, but she was like me. She will buy a house today and sell it tomorrow. Oh. That's how I do, you know. So she was a businesswoman. <clears throat> businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I go to Arthur Avenue today 
and mm-hmm. I'll buy a house. The cousin and I who died, Dorothy Aspen, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we buy a house today and we pay like if you owe two thousand dollars is different from home mm-hmm. home people take inference from you the american only take the two thousand you owe mm-hmm. so i go up there and i give them the two thousand dorothy and i will share the money mm-hmm. and we'll go to lebanon hospital in the night and work mm-hmm. she she is a registered nurse and mm-hmm. i'm a practical nurse mm-hmm. i told you i never took the uh, the three-year course because i had a baby going. right and in the night, I work hard here. In mm-hmm. the night, I kept children for the mothers who going to work in the night. But mm-hmm. they had to be here seven o'clock for me to go back to Lebanon. Mm-hmm. So that's the situation. Wow. So what year did you you left Monte Cristi and came here, or did you go back to Grand Turk? I left Monte Cristi in 1923. Okay. The same year my sister Stacia was born. She okay. is 82 years this year, 1923. Okay. All right. My father. Now Stacia is still alive. Stacia is still alive. Here in New York. Right here in New York, I okay. could give you her. Address. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll certainly get Stacia that. is right here, mm-hmm. but she is uh, so much overweight. She and I worked together in Lebanon Hospital for over 50 years. Uh huh. And right. so you left. So then you left Grand Turk to come here in in the forties. You said I ninety. I came here in nineteen forty three. Okay. Two months pregnant. Yeah. And what was it like growing up in Grand Turk back in those days? It was nice growing up in Grand Turk. I went to the uh, parade school, mm-hmm. and in those days they were prejudiced. Home, get mm-hmm. that straight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Crawford wouldn't take me, mm-hmm. although my father and them he only took them because Charlie was white and he had plenty mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. but when it came for him to take me in his school mm-hmm. he wouldn't take me mm. because I was a legitimate child yeah, oh boy. Yeah. Mr. Crawford didn't take me mm-hmm. so when hey, Mr. Crawford was the school principal was his school principal from mm-hmm. Jamaica from Jamaica okay. and he didn't take me but let me tell you I got it back because mm-hmm. when he died, say about 20 or 30 years ago, they wrote me for a donation. Mm. So I sent the donation. Mm-hmm. But I also remember in my heart, just like how you see him sitting out there on my sidewalk, that's my. Mm-hmm. Like I told you, I have enough judges that would give me my apartment upstairs, mm-hmm. but I don't want it. Those mm-hmm. the things you leave to God, and right. in his own time you will repay. Right. Because the judge who his mother didn't want him and put him outside, mm-hmm. he said, you know, I can't take no money from you. Because I remember when she brought me on the step and run and leave me. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't bring your baby and leave it on the step. Mm-hmm. She said, I don't have no lunch today, and I don't want to tell her that. Mm. But did you know I was going to give them lunch? I yeah. cook. He said, he said, Ma Peters, they called me Ma Peters. He said, Ma Peters, I can't forget all those big pots of West Indian food you used to cook and feed us when our parents just dump us on the step. Because mm-hmm. most of them were dope addicts. But yeah. these boys turned out to be good boys. Mm-hmm. I got African judge, I got American judge, and I got a an uh, Indian judge who was here tell me, and say she'll put all of them out of my house. But and I these are all foster children that you raised? And foster children that I mm. raised, unwanted children. Uh-huh. What happened, I had, uh, they used to send me two helpers. Okay. The bus will come like that school uh, thing just came across. Mm-hmm. And they'll dump all the lunches on the doorstep. Yeah. And then somebody else will bring it in here for me. Mm-hmm. But I only kept the children in here to sleep who they, their parents didn't pick them up, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. in the basement, if you go down there now, you'll see all those cribs they arrange all because mm-hmm. the city had rented the basement from me. And that's where I worked down in the basement. Mm-hmm. And in the night, I used to let Helen sleep here for nothing. Mm-hmm. Back to Grand Turk again growing up. Uh, the. Uh, the what what uh, they had what dunk, what what was the transportation? <laughs> we didn't. Well, I didn't need no transportation uh-huh. because I live right near 
the West par Lynn Chapel. The parade right there. Yeah, yeah, I live right near West Lynn Chapel. Back Selena? Yes, Back okay. Selena. Because I told you my mother, my grandmother had me from the time I was born, a few days mm -hmm. old. Yeah. And my uh, other grandmother, she didn't have much mm -hmm. to support me with. Yeah. And my mother was only 14, you know. Mm -hmm. And then my grandmother was glad to give me up. I mean, my mother's mother, mm -hmm. because they had put, they put you out the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, when you when your child have a, le a legitimate child at that tender age, mm -hmm. they don't. And then the only thing in Turks Island in those days, no radio, unless mm -hmm. you could afford it. Of course, mm -hmm. my family had radios in all the room. Mm -hmm. Those kind you grind up and all, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they, them old things you grind up, but they mm -hmm. had them in all the room. Yeah. But then my mother's family didn't have that. Mm -hmm. No television, you know, television they had. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they was glad to uh, let me uh, be with them because mm -hmm. they could have taken care of me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So that was the situation. And uh, your, your, your grandmother, Ma Williams, as we call her, uh, mm -hmm. how many children did she have? My Ma Williams had seven children. Seven Lewis children. Aswood was the oldest. oldest. And who Big. were the others? Lewis Aswood, Donald Aswood, Alden Aswood. Donald Aswood was the doctor, was the dentist? Yeah, the, the dentist. Okay, yeah. and his son is still the dentist down there. And now. his son is, no, his son no, is he's, retired. He's retired, right, yeah. head of the master. But his son, son is the dentist. Okay, all right. <clears throat> and there was Helen. Helen. Okay. Helen, she was married to, to two husbands. She had Stanley Mitchell, she was married to Stanley mm -hmm. Mitchell. Mm -hmm. That, and then she had Leela Mitchell, Helene Mitchell, and mm -hmm. the young Stanley. He got run over home. Okay. You you must yeah, have. Yeah. All right. Young Stanley. They used to call him Pop Mitchell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He got run oh, yeah, over yeah, yeah. And the two girls died. That that mm -hmm. whole family wipe out. Okay. And, but Stanley has children. Now, which one? The uh, Mr. Jones. Who was he married to? Clifford was married to. Clifford. The youngest child, okay. Mary, Mary Jones. Mary Jones. Mary, okay. Mary Aswood. Aswood Jones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Clifford was married to her, and he had Stanley, Stanley. and his Stanley died. Was, right, that's uh, yeah. I did his funeral. I did a memorial service for him yeah. at Grand Turk. Yeah, I was. I right. was there. Yeah. Yeah. And he died, and then he, there is Humphrey oh. as a. The medical doctor? Doctor, yes. Okay, in Miami? Yes, I lived to his house when I went home with Mary. Okay. I went to be with Mary when she got sick. Okay. And yeah. there's the youngest son, George. George. I who, still correspond with him. Yeah, he just moved to Florida but from he, New York. He uh, sold his house out here and he moved to Florida. Okay. So I still hear from them once yeah, in a while, you yeah. know. So you have a very large family. I had, but I yeah, don't have yeah, now. It's yeah. a past tense. I know. They still, uh, you know, they yeah. all gone. The seven children is gone. Uh huh. Ma Williams, seven children died. Are they all gone. They yeah. all gone. They're all Not gone. one living. Yeah. Not even one. Yeah. And out of my grandmother's uh, baby Missick. Uh, yes. Uh, her name is Laura. Laura. Laura, a Adam, a Laura Adams Missick. Laura Missick. A. Missick. You're right. Yeah. Adams. She was Adams. You see. Yeah. I uh, like, <clears throat> let me tell you what happened to me. So when I was about 90 years old, the girl told another girl, she say, Miss Peters shouldn't be serving lunch on that side of the room because they have salt and pepper. Mm. So uh, the, the girls told the other girl, she say, it doesn't matter. Mm. According to her chart, she is 90 years old. Mm -hmm. She soon die anyway. <laughs> so let her have her salt and pepper. Uh. You know, she the girl didn't know that I could speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I could have speak Spanish before I spoke my own language. Mm -hmm. Because like I told you, you had to pay 25 cents a month mm -hmm. for the Spanish school, for the English school. Mm -hmm. And the Spanish school was free. Yeah. So my aunt, my let me go to the uh, Spanish school mm -hmm. because my father said he wanted me to learn the language mm -hmm. over there. He mm -hmm. said because when he stopped sailing on the Algonquin, 
he would take me home and he'll put me in English school and he could teach me in English because he went to Brooklyn College. Oh, and, that's where I graduated from. Yes, yeah. wow, but I only tell you how things has changed. Yeah. Now, when David graduated, Helen Child graduated mm. in 1974, and I No, I graduated in 74. Not yeah. 74. <laughs> Probably in, 94. In 94. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a tremendous place. It's a big college, yeah, big oh, school. Oh, yes, yeah. it's a tremendous place. <coughs> I mean, we walk all around the grounds and all mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, that's interesting. So, why did so many Turks Islanders come to New York? Because my my <clears throat> grandparents, on my mother's side, uh, Adolphus Watkins, and yes. uh, they came here in the nineteen teens. Yes, but and then my father James Missick lived here in the nineteen teens. In the nineteen teens. Yeah, in the teens. Yeah. Yes, but what happened then? The the black people could have get job then. My oh, father oh, also okay. came here around that age. So it changed. It has changed. Okay. But like I tell you, when they first started out, mm -hmm. they wouldn't let our people work here. Yeah. It was all white. Look, when I moved around here, I didn't buy this house. Mm -hmm. A German lady bought this house for me. Okay. And I gave her my dollar fifty to make the down payment out of the money that I was only making in that building over there, mm -hmm. one dollar mm -hmm. and twenty-five cents. Mm -hmm. And out of that, I had to pay five cents a day for that boy who you saw just mm -hmm. now, five mm -hmm. cents a day for babysitter. Mm -hmm. You give babysitter that for a tip now, she'll yeah. call the policeman yeah. on you. <laughs> I'm Dr. Glenn Misick. May God bless you. Keep you strong.